Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Maybe one of the first set of videos are part of Game Raiders Month. I'm still not sure yet if I'm doing it. You know, it's a big step to take posting 30 videos up to the release of Journey's End and then posting tons of videos when Journey's End comes out. I'll see what happens, okay? We're not for sure on it. I'll try my best though. And I'm getting a little head start here. But yeah, we are here in the lab today. The lab, of course, made by Chaos. Check him out. Subscribe to him. I don't know when this is coming out, but we're trying to get him to 100 k subs and i think he's pretty close so by the time this is out he probably will be there already but yeah today we are in the lab because we're checking out the shapeshifter mod so let's go ahead let's zoom in here and let's get into it now this mod i wouldn't say get your hopes up for anything i should probably take everything off here don't get your hopes up for anything we're not going to be doing stuff like the morph mod in minecraft but uh, i've seen a decent bit of this mod a little bit not really that much i haven't really touched it that much but i've seen it here and there and let's just hop into it so first we're gonna start with this idea right here and it is the tainted mirror now this thing allows us to see our abilities when we're shape-shifted uh when we click it right here there's no movement on the surface of the mirror because we are not shape-shifting but yeah we got our hard mode sets here or pre-hard mode sets here and uh let us go ahead let's start with the king slime i'll go ahead and give you guys a little sneak at the recipes later on in the video but for now let's just go over everything starting with this though king slime shape mask we got the king slime shape plate and we got the shape legs and let's go ahead let's look at everything it says increased number of minions 10% increase magic damage and then reduce damage taken by eight percent signs become friendly and nine percent increase minion damage so this seems like a summoner set more than anything and uh with the news that there's no summoner sets or new armor sets in general being added to 1.4 you know in the future summoner could always use more sets i guess but yeah we're checking out this here and this this is the this is the shape shifting part so this is the part where i meant don't get your hopes up too high we're just wearing armor that's that's really what's going on we're not turning into king slime and i think that's where the the upsetting part of the shapeshifting is is that we're just we're just a king slime we're just the eye cthulhu dressed up in an outfit rather than you know actually turning into like a slime or something but yeah let's see the abilities boom grants you a slime to fight for you you can do a power jump if you charge by holding down bounce on enemies weakness to fire okay let's do the power jump and then what do i just let it go no huh <laughs> let me let me go over here this is where power jump right here that's uh, you call that power I, I wouldn't call that power i'd call that i call that a weakness honestly you get shot midair or something like that because you're jumping for too long look at that what is that i mean i guess we do go higher and the longer you hold it the higher you go so let me hold it for a good bit here okay let's see how high i go now okay that's the highest you go and i was holding it for like 30 seconds and what was the other thing we can bounce on enemies and weakness to fire so let's spawn in an enemy here i don't know if the heroes mod is gonna allow me uh, i actually do have the heroes mod for once okay that actually did good damage yeah i have the heroes mod for once uh it has a couple of good things there's a reason why i used to not use it before i think that reason is gone now and uh, it's actually pretty good to have a long cheat sheet it's actually pretty good to have next to cheat sheet when doing videos like this but yeah there you go that's the king slime stuff that's it that's really it is there a set bonus your body shaping as a of a slime is that how you're supposed to write that sentence I, I feel like that the grammar might be a little off but next up let's check out the eye cthulhu let's go a bit faster here there's a whole other mod the mod goes by the name of qwerty's mod you may have seen it in one of my older playthroughs or just seen it in general and that mod actually does have some shape shifting in it we'll check that out for a future video yeah we're here we got the eye cthulhu set on it says seven percent increased melee speed hunger draws to your enemies what does that mean do enemies just they just come towards me the aggro to me and eight percent increased movement speed and the set bonus well obviously the set bonus is just whatever but let's see the tainted mirror stuff increase your combat ability the more you are damaged dashing heals you when enraged your vision is influenced by your health okay so you do get a natural dash that's good when we take damage we get more health so what's a good enemy to take damage from what's that one dude that sh shoots size at you red demon this dude right here red devil okay okay my vision is getting a little bit more impaired now do i get okay he just fucking killed me he said fuck it but i did hear the enraged part come out for a second the little scream okay that's good that's good enough right that's not good enough bruh moving on to the next set we got the eater of world set and uh, let's see our powers before we look at the armor stats you get a stat boost in melee and summoning as well as the power to summon small eaters when fighting but you can't summon as much as normal minions weakness to repeated hits oh i don't know if that's a good weakness to have but yeah let's see the, the armor stats here six percent increased summoning damage okay reduced damage taken by 18 percent so we got the worm scarf in there and we got movement speed okay so not the greatest set it seems like the king slime might be the best so far but let's see let's spawn in a bunch of enemies here do i spawn in eaters oh that type of eater oh 
I was thinking legit like you know the eaters that you see in the corruption just kind of flying around no we get the the corruptor whatever the name of that staff is or whatever spear that's pretty good that's actually pretty good if you take damage but you can't take repeated damage because you take a lot more damage when you do so it's kind of like a it's like a strength and a weakness at the same time next up we got the brain of cthulhu let's see the stats four percent increased magic damage confusion rules amongst your foes or nope just among your foes and more magic damage okay and what is the set bonus greatly increases magic damage but nullifies mana regen magic crit and increases mana cost mana gets refilled by tapping in weak minds or when you hit enemies with magic you get a random beneficial buffs by hurting enemies with magic the grammar needs a little work same thing with the punctuation but it's all good i don't know what any of that stuff means we just get mana a lot of mana i don't know Let, let's just do this here let's get a magic weapon we got the diamond staff here does 51 damage with the armor set on i take it off just 23 so yeah that is a really good stat up this could be a really good mage set early you know i never thought the brain of cthulhu is a mage more of a summoner with all the the eyeballs he spawns next up we got the skeletron set here this is the funniest looking one so far we got four percent increased magic damage is this another magic set 33 percent chance to not consume throwing item four percent increased throwing damage i'm i'm witnessing a little uh forgetfulness in what they want to buff or just like they're scrambled in what they want to buff like is this a magic set is this a throwing set like i don't like sets that try and hybrid everything because i feel like hybrid sets there's no point in wearing them even if you are doing like a play as everything class you know not not even have a certain class you're doing a playthrough with i still feel like doing a hybrid scrambled set with stats everywhere is not going to be as good as a just regular set so I, I don't know how i feel about the mod doing that with a couple of these armor sets here especially for bosses i feel like bosses they all have one theme they should stick to that theme but let's see what we get here curses you during the night the more wounded you are the more the curse will leak uh, i'm gonna summon it again so i can keep reading it increase your throwing and magic power you also summon skulls and can inflict various abilities by using a curse weakness to daytime so what i'm just weak during the daytime um let's make it nighttime then with heroes mod hopefully you can still see me when it's nighttime okay so we got a little curse on us okay at least we look cool i'll give them that we look cool let me turn up the brightness turn up that brightness so you guys can see me and then let's go ahead let's summon in some enemies here Okay, I'm not seeing any skulls summon. I'm not seeing any skulls summon. Crows? Did I summon in crows? That's my bad. I don't, I don't know how I summoned them in if I did. But uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any skulls coming out of me. I don't know. Is there abilities I can use? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think there's any keybinds for this mod, but you know, the powers that we're shooting out, they do damage. They do damage when they do hit, just a matter of uh, when they hit and if they do actually hit. It's kind of like the same thing, honestly. All right, next up, we have the Queen Bee set. This one, it has to be around summoning stuff. Please be around summoning stuff. That only makes sense. This is the only pre hard mode source for summoner armor and a really good summoning weapon. Let's see. Increases range damage. Okay, we're off to a bad start. Increases strength of friendly bees. Okay, not bad. Increases throwing damage jesus what is going on here all right the more bees you have the more powerful you can get in range and throwing you can reduce bees by fighting not moving creates more bees weakness to attacks so if i just sit still when there's enemies around me i produce bees <sighs> Okay, I produce bees when i get hit what was that noise i made that was like a monster <sighs> That, that's that's not the queen bee noises <laughs> that's a monster from one of the monsters from the solar eclipse I, I don't see any bees coming out when i'm sitting still i don't know if it's because i'm not detecting the enemies or what <laughs> whatever no it don't matter all right this is my favorite looking one so far the wall of flesh set let's check it out five percent increased melee damage eight percent increased melee speed eight percent increased movement speed see i could get behind that the wall of flesh definitely is a melee attacker you no know, it physically attacks you and it's really fast so i can get behind this this is one of the first ones that i've noticed well the, there was probably a couple others that made sense but this one makes the most sense so far let's see the abilities enemies make you hungry and you'll need to feed off by fighting in close combat most ways of healing are rendered moot besides feeding you can lower the hunger by eating normal food what in the fuck does that mean so i'm slowly dying right now and i gotta eat things can i dash you telling me as the wall of flesh i can't dash all right what happens close up melee look at me i'm going in Okay, this doesn't seem to be helping. Maybe I need to take out a weapon. Here you go, iron broadsword. Is this, hun is this making me hungry? Less hungry? I don't know. I don't I don't get some of these uh, stat bonuses. All right, zombies, come here. I'm hungry. I'm trying to get some of this food. Come here. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, we healed off of killing him. I don't know if he just dropped a heart or what, but we healed off of killing him. This shit really said rendered moot. All right, we're moving on to the hard mode sets here. Starting off with the 
Mechamagam. Mechamagam. That's a weird word. Mech amagam That's not how the word's pronounced. It's amalgam. So mech amalgam. There we go. That, that, that sounds right. Let's put this on. This is all three mech bosses put together. And we got the uh, we got the mask here. Increases your range potential if powered. What the hell does that mean? Increases your minions and building potential if powered. Okay. Improve movement speed potential if powered. What does that mean? Okay, we gotta figure out what this means. The greater your velocity is, the more energy you gain. Your speed building minion and range ability gradually increase with your energy charge weakness to water do i just straight up take damage in water we gotta test that out but let me what's like the fastest mount probably like a wet pig run or a fish run mount but let's just use this because that's really fast and then let's get a, a ranged weapon of some sort i don't know let's get let's get the clockwork rifle so this does 14 damage right now so we're standing still but what is it what if i move fast okay the damage doesn't seem like it's going up oh do i have to be moving fast like this out what about wings wings okay the damage goes up five was that it went from 14 to five it's barely moving holy shit how fast do you need to be going all right when's if i put on the omega core if this isn't speed then i don't know what is look at this 21 you see how fast i'm going all right i have to dip myself in some water but i don't want to mess up the lab so let me go somewhere where i can pour water let's just go to the dungeon how about that should go to the dungeon this is the dungeon but not the one I was looking for. So, you know, I'm still new to my world. I, I got to get used to what's going on in my world. Okay, I came over here and Calamity's trying to do some stuff. Let me go in the water, though. Oh, yeah, look how fast I die in the water. Holy, you know what? Just send me back. I don't want to deal with this acid rain stuff. Okay, I don't know. Calamity straight up broke my world. I logged out. I didn't disable the mod because I didn't want to break anything. But I logged out and the, I don't know. The world is breaking into chaos. Whatever. We'll stay inside. But yeah, next up, we got the Plantera fit here. And let's see. 7% increased range damage. Summon spores over time, though, damage enemies. And 4% increased melee damage and critical strike chance. What do you want to be? Do you want to be a melee set or do you want to be a range set? Can't be going all over the place with this. What are, what are the bonuses? You alternate between sleeping and awakening state. When sleeping, you are incredibly tough, but deal very little damage. And when you're awakened, you get increased offensive abilities, including melee and range damage. Weakness of a plant. What does that mean, weakness of a plant? If I don't water myself, I'm gonna die? I don't know what it means. Oh, well, there you go. I guess I'm awake now. Um, So what, we do more damage during this awake phase? Let me see. It's a ranged and melee, right? Okay, let's take a copper hammer here. Look at five melee damage. And if I take it off and not enraged, one melee damage. Okay, that's not bad. I still don't know if I like the set though. Next up, we got the golem one. This one looks pretty funny. 7% increased magic damage and improved mana regen. Greatly increases life gem when I'm moving. Yep. And 6% increased melee and critical strike chance. Again, all over the place. Stick to one thing. I know the golem does his little pew 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 and then he throws his fist at you but come on man these hybrid sets aren't it you can dodge death with a one minute cooldown but you are weakened during the regen state you shoot lasers magic and melee powers are increased so we shoot abilities let's go out here hopefully you can still see it might be a little dark now let's summon in some enemies here some demon eyes oh my god i summoned him in and he got lasered immediately wow i'm clicking on demon eye and crows are spawning i don't, I don't know how that works but uh i just shoot lasers there we go shot a laser didn't it say I, sh I shoot something else too? Maybe that's when I'm almost dead. Well, if I almost die, I also revive myself automatically. Boom, bada, bing. At least it does something cool by shooting those lasers. I could appreciate that. But it's seeming like a lot of these sets are hit or miss more than anything. It seems like they're miss a lot of the time. And there's a lot of potential here, but the potential is not being met so far. Next up, we got Duke Fish on. He's making loud noises. This mask is smelling fishy. Ew, I don't know if I could wear that mask. 7% increased minion damage and reduced knockback. Grants you improved mobility in water. 6% increased throwing damage and critical strike chance. Okay, so this is a throwing set and a minion set. Okay, interesting. You can only breathe correctly if you're on water, but rain can do the job as well. Sharknaders come to your aid and spit bubbles when you use minions or throwing weapons. Weakness to thunder. The thunder? Wait, does he get scared? I would understand lightning, but thunder? I, mean, I guess there isn't lightning in Terraria, but... 1.4 this seems pretty strong though having these dudes shoot sharks they're, they're pretty good um i would go in water the last time we went in water well look all around us it's dark now and the sky won't stop moving next up here we got the lunatic cultist set i don't know why i keep going out here let's go down here for now so you can see me a little better uh as you can see my mana went up a lot when i put this set on and that's pretty good so i'm assuming it's a mage set watch it's gonna say like melee on the on the chest plate or on the robes greatly improved mana regen greatly increases your mana pool does it using a catalyst you can use the primordial principles of each essence of magic each one's a very potent magic that will allow you to bend the world laws so it's talking about this right here primordial orb 
uses 111 mana catalyst to perform the magic. Whoa! Whoa! See, this is kind of cool. You get infused with the knowledge of primordial movement. You can now create shockwaves that travel at high speeds. What the fuck does that mean? How do, how do I even use it? Okay, there's no key bind, so I don't know how it works. Like how the abilities work. Do they just like summon automatically if there's an enemy nearby? Let's see. I don't know if I mess with you know abilities going off and there's enemies nearby. You should just allow me to use the abilities. Attack! No? Okay, that's fine. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to use this. Like click with this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I just clicked with it before and it didn't work, but there you go. Does that, I guess. What about the other abilities? This one. You get infused with knowledge of primordial energy. You can now make it flow freely out of an enemy. Okay. That one seems interesting. Next up, blue one. You get infused with the knowledge of primordial structure. You can now re reassemble the air around you to create a shield. Boom. A little shield. Enemies die when they touch it, okay? And the last one, the red one. You get infused with knowledge of primordial intensity. You can now concentrate a gravitational orb that crushes enemies to dust. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Sort of like a black hole. I like that one. That one is pretty cool. Look at that. They're getting sucked into it. God damn. Okay, so this seems like the most unique set so far. And there's only two pieces of it. Very nice. I like this set. Last but not least, this one is really cool because of the legs alone. Or I guess there isn't any legs, but we got the Moon Lord set here. And look how fast we are. Just I'm just moving so fast. Whoa, look at this. And I can just like go anywhere I want. Let me turn up the brightness a little bit. I don't know how much this is going to help. And look at this. I can literally just walk wherever I want. This is amazing. So let's read the set bonus here. 15 percent increased range critical chance improved vision increase your max number of minions 30 percent increased melee speed and movement gravity has trouble affecting you yeah gravity doesn't have shit on me because look at this you get insanely increased powers are able to control your gravity incredibly easily you can almost see everything with ease and are protected by the eye i don't know what protected by the eye means maybe i have an eye spawn when i'm near enemies Okay, yeah, we did have an eye spawn. I didn't think it was going to be that eye. I thought it was going to be the one that shoots lasers. But this is another cool set here. Uh, I feel like there's a couple of things that could be cooler, more specific set bonus. I feel like this is a really cool set, though. I'll put it next to the cultist and the golem. I feel like the, some of these sets are not too bad at all. All right, so the last thing we're going to check out in this mod are these things right here, these emblems. Now, these emblems, they straight up just turn you into the morphs or the shapeshifts, whatever you want to say, without having to wear an armor set. So you just boom, put it on. Look at that. I'm the moon lord now. Or boom, put it on. Look, I'm the cultist now. And this kind of streamlines have, having to have the whole armor set on. So you could probably rock another armor set and rock this stuff, which is very cool. But yeah, now let's go into the recipes here and see if they're super convoluted or not. I honestly have no idea if they're going to be. But let's see together. So with this mod, you can actually craft some of the extra mode stuff, uh, which is uh, pretty useful, especially if you're playing extra mode and say you want to use some of the expert mode stuff for example like you want to make the uh, mechanical minecart boom you can make it and then you can craft the pieces used to make the mech amalgam set yeah let's let's start with the king slime so what do we got here ninja pants and gel king slime mask and a crown okay royal gel ninja shirt so it seems like it's going to use a lot of stuff that dropped from the boss from extra mode oh that's another thing if you play a normal i think you're able to craft these in normal allowing you to you know make these sets but now let's see the emblems so you need the whole armor set and you need the trophy. And that's how you make the emblems. But you get the idea. There's a lot of potential here. And if executed correctly, this mod can easily be great. But it's still not a bad mod. I've definitely seen worse. Uh, a lot worse. Definitely. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, shout out Chaos for making this lab. We're going to be seeing this lab a lot in future videos. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. We'll see if we'll do 30 videos in a row. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be tough.